Hey guys, what's going on? Really quick video today. We're going to be talking about the 20th World Tournament for the global side of Dokkan Battle. Now, um, uh, I do want to say before we go any further into the video, if you didn't, well, none of you actually probably saw, I haven't posted up on Twitter or anything like that, but I did an off-screen multi-summon on the JP side of Dokkan, and um, I ended up pulling another Jiren. So, uh, bottom right dew path is going to be unlocked. I have to do a lot of farming to get him up super attack 10. Um, I might start focusing a little bit on the JP side, even though we had a lot going on. Um, anyway, we are going to be talking about in this video, 20th world tournament for the global side of Dokkan. Um, in terms of my weekly grind videos, um, I've been thinking about doing them bi-weekly just because it's always the same information. Um, it makes a little bit more sense, I believe, but uh, we'll see. If, let me know in the comments below if you prefer my weekly videos or if you think going bi-weekly would be good. I know all of my regular WoW viewers uh, who watch my videos, you guys will probably have a better idea of which one, of what, what I should do. Um, just because it may, definitely makes it a lot easier for those of you who don't know all the events that are happening to know what's going on. But um, again, because the events are so regular, like it's always the same events coming back, I feel like doing a weekly grind video uh, every other week might make a little bit more sense. But again, let me know in the comments below. Um, 20th World Tournament on the global side. We have the new Trunks. Now, is he worth it? Is this grind worth it? Well, honestly, it's really up to you. Um, if you want the quick answer on that, personally, I don't think so. Uh, can he become very useful in the future? I mean, yeah, definitely, because his passive skill is not horrible. Let's talk about it. Um, double attack strength super trunks. So he is super trunks, um, so he doesn't have anything farmable as of right now. Uh, he, let's see, leader skill is intelligence type attack plus 50%, which is really whack, so outdated. He does supreme damage to the enemy, which, okay, whatever, he's an SSR with supreme damage, not horrible. His passive skill, full of confidence, key plus two, attack plus 60% when HP is 30% or above. Now, this is why I say he can become very useful in the future. It's really because we don't know what his passive can go to. Key plus two, attack plus 60% can be key plus three, attack plus 100%, 80% um, when HP is 30% or above, or they can just remove the restriction. Key plus two and attack plus 100% at all times. You know what I mean? We don't know. Uh, and because he's so outdated and he's coming to us so late, I feel like when he does get a Doken Awakening, he's going to be really, really good. Um, at this point in time, we don't know if we're going to be getting any other Doken Awakenings along with this tournament. Uh, if that news becomes available, I will definitely let you know. Uh, in terms of his Link abilities, it's Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Solvers, Soul Messenger from the Future, Royal Lineage, and Z Fighters. So in terms of Links, he doesn't have horrible Links. Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, obviously, are the two primary link skills that um, every Super Saiyan is going to need, or every Saiyan hero is going to need. Uh, Royal Lineage does come into play for certain units like the Vegetas and the Trunks, and Z Fighters are hit or miss, really depends on who you're running on your team. He's part of the Hybrid Saiyan category, and he has max stats of 9,013, attack, oh, attack of 7,322, and defense of 4,672. Um, he gets some decent buffs in the dupe system, 5,000 total for everything. Um, about everything, yeah, so um, you could definitely do that if you would choose to, if you get him. Uh, I'm not going to tell you definitely to do it, but he will, you can throw some dupe system into him. He's a 12 key multiplier though of 135%, which is really a deal breaker for me. Um, I would not go and get, I, I wouldn't throw dupe system into him because of that. If he gets a dokening and that throws up to 145%, something like that, or 150%, I don't think they'll ever do 150% for a free to play, well for a guaranteed SSR, or an SSR from a tournament. Uh, but you never know. Overall, he's not a horrible unit. Um, I personally can't grind out World Tournaments anymore because my new work schedule, I will be at work most of the time if this is available. It's going to be available next weekend, by the way, per the Thousand Day Celebration. By the way, shout out to dbz.space for all the information about the World Tournament. Shout out to the wiki for the card information. Shout out to Dokkan Battle Builder for all of the awesome guides. And shout out to the Reddit for more information about the World Tournament to find out if there are new units are released or not. Ha, huh, all those shoutouts. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about best linking buddies for him. Um, in terms of all units in-game for four or more link skills, essentially almost all the Trunkses. I mean, he's linking with so many Trunkses. Um, the thing is, he is a Super Trunks, so uh, some of these guys, like this guy over here, he's a Super Trunks, so we can't really do anything with him. Um, he's Super Saiyan Trunks, he is a Super Trunks, so he won't be on that list as well. Uh, I probably should have done this before I started the video, so really... Um, four or more link skills, or four link skills total is what he can what he can do. Um, you have this Vegeta over here, the Super Vegeta. 
He, let's see, what is he? He is the agility, strength, and physical type key, plus two attack and defense, plus 25%. So he is a super uh, a support unit, which will never become useful for him because he does not buff the trunks. So you're never going to have those two on the same team. This trunks, you can have him on the same team. This is a Super Saiyan trunks future. Uh, attack and defense plus 25%, so he's a support unit. The strength trunks, which is, let's see, reduced damage by 40%, attack and defense up to 120%. The lower the HP is, the greater the stat boost. So that's okay. Um, this tech trunks is a really decent unit. Attack plus 80%, uh, 70% trunks, and the one of the hero leaders, uh, key plus one HP attack and defense plus 70%. So overall, he does not have bad linking buddies. If you notice, though, his best linking buddies in game happen to just be trunkses. So um, we really can't do too much about that. That's all there is to it. Um, I can go over here. We're going to go drag all these down. We can take a look at in terms of three or more in game for everything. Uh, so let's go over here. We'll do three. And he gets a lot more. Now, if you go and take a look over here, he gets a lot of the Vegetas. And it's pretty much because of um, what is this? The Z Fighter. Well, wow. Oh, that's Goku. I'm sorry. So I think it's Lo Royal Lineage. So essentially, Golden Warrior. Um, Royal Lineage and Super Saiyan is the best you can link with with all the Vegetas. And then Gokus, some of those Gokus will have Z Fighters on it, and Gohans will have Z Fighters on it, which will give that additional 15% attack buff. So you do have some good units on there. I mean, honestly, for Super Saiyan and Z Fighters is definitely not a horrible link skill set. That's a 25% buff right there. Plus Golden Warrior for key plus one. Um, I probably wouldn't run him on any of these teams unless I didn't have anyone else. So for those of you who are newer players who don't have good intelligence units, he'll probably be worth it for you. I don't think he's really worth in my opinion, but then again, he can become useful in the future. For mono intelligence team, key, uh, three or more, you have the Gohan, which now would see the attack plus 90% more performing with super attack. The buff coup, which is a support unit. The free to play trunks, which is key, uh, attack plus 70%, which we already talked about. The other, the OG Trunks that gets a Doken Awakening, which is attack plus 2,500, key plus 2, which is really, really whack. And then the the, the Hero Leader. Um, honestly, really doesn't have that many people who will... Good, I guess he kind of has some good units. I guess this... Actually, this is really... These are the only two good units, is the Trunks and the Gohan. So, for the Trunks, let's see. Golden Warrior, Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan, and Royal Lineage. With Messenger from the Future, you might as well not even consider that, because it's the flat-out 500 attack buff. That is really whack. Uh, Golden Warrior, Royal Lineage, so he's getting two key and a 10% Super Saiyan attack buff. That's really it. You're not going to really have anyone else to link him with. With uh, Well, I don't see, there's, no, there's no other good link skills that you can utilize from him. In terms of Gohan, he actually has better links because he gets 25% um, attack buff and key plus one. So if you're looking at someone linked with that Gohan, that might be your best bet in terms of linking buddies. In terms of best linking buddies, it's definitely going to be the Strunks over here. But because he doesn't get that 25% attack buff, is that 500? I mean, you might as well not even consider it. And he's getting two key instead of one key. So it's really up to you which ones you think. Either one of these are really good units. He has immense damage. He doesn't, but he has two key instead of one key. So or 25 or 25% attack buff instead of just 10, uh, 15%. Um, or 10%, sorry. So really good setup over here, but whatever one you whatever one you have. Plus also taking into consideration the buff coup will probably be on your mono intelligence team as a support unit if you have him. You'll be getting an additional one key from him if he's in the middle. Uh, Super Saiyan and Z fighters anyway. So overall, not horrible for a mono intelligence team, uh, depending on who you're trying to run. In terms of a hybrid Saiyan team, I just brought all, all the hybrid Saiyans. Now, I put these two up top just so that way they're out of the way. These are the two super trunkses over here. Um, it's essentially everyone who I already talked about for four or more. There's really nothing else you can really do on this team. I mean, we can go ahead over here. Let me let me bring all these down. We have talked about every single one of these trunks already. Uh, we're bringing the super trunks out of the way. And we're just, this is just a hybrid Saiyan. So we can go over here. We'll drop this down to three or more. And these are all the Gohans and Trunkses that he links with them. We already talked about the Intelligence Gohan. We already talked about the Intelligence Trunks. Um, so let's go ahead about the other Trunkses that he links with for a hybrid Saiyan team. Now we have, let's see. We have the Team Gohan, which is the strength one. Soul, he has soul versus soul. That's for the Cell Saga. Um, so that's key plus one and weakens regeneration. So if you're going up against the Cell event, I guess these two link linking together could be very useful. Uh, they have Super Saiyan and Golden Warrior. So not horrible. They're, sh they're essentially sharing two key. Enemy defense minus 2,000. They weaken regeneration against Cell and give their, each other a 10% attack buff. Um, you have the physical Gohan. This one is a support unit. Uh, all allies attack and defense plus 35%. So they could be very viable on a Heroes team or a Hybrid Saiyans team. Um, they share Z Fighter, Super Saiyan, and Golden Warrior, which is not bad at all. So if this Trunks happens to be in the middle and this Gohan's on the field, you're pretty good. This Trunks over here, the GT Trunks, is really decent. Attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. Three, key, or three link skills. Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage. So two key and 10% attack buff, meh, whatever. I wouldn't really run them two together. And this one, Royal Lineage, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan again. 
Honestly, the only thing that this Trunks has, and now I'm just I'm just considering this for Super Saiyans. Um, the only thing I see him having as a benefit over all of the other Super Saiyans is the fact that he does have Z Fighters. So finding good units with the Link skill Z Fighters is probably going to be your best bet. And it's not that hard. There are some decent ones. I mean, you have a lot of the Super Saiyan Gokus. You have some of the Super Saiyan Gohans. Ultimate Gohan, who is the hybrid Saiyan leader, has it. So it's not bad to throw him on there with him if you don't have... I mean, you're going to want someone with Fierce Battle anyway. Um, and some of the other support units you would probably throw on here would have Z Fighters. But, you know, there, there are options for you. Let me put it like that. So um, anything with a Z Fighter will be a good linking partner for him because you want to utilize that link skill if you have it. It's definitely difficult. I don't want to say difficult, but it's not common for people to build a Z Fighters team. So, you know, if you're looking to do something like that, utilize that link skill, definitely uh, go ahead over here to the wiki and check out Z Fighters link skill to see who you can link him with. Um, overall, again, um, in terms of should you go for him, uh, I think that he will. He could possibly. He has the possibility of being a good unit in the future. He's never going to have fierce battle, so he's going to be shattering the limit. He could be decent. Um, I, I don't know. It, 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 it's a hard call to make. It really depends on what they do with his passive skill. I could see that passive skill being really, really good. So, like, if you guys aren't aware, we had a free Vegeta for the World, World, World Tournament. Uh, if uh, you just participated in the World Tournament, you would get this Vegeta. Um, now, this is the Vegeta from GT. We can go over here. Where, where are you, Vegeta? Come on. Um, this is Vegeta from GT. He's a Super Saiyan Vegeta. This is his Undokan form. Attack plus 40% when HP is 99% or below. That's horrible, right? Garbage extreme damage. Now, this guy got a Doken Awakening, and look what happened with him. He went from 40% to 90% when HP is 99% or below to Supreme Damage, and he gives himself a defensive buff by 30% for 6 turns. So he became very, very, very useful in terms of running that. Plus, think of this, he also has the Royal Lineage, so you can link him up with that Trunks very well for Key Plus 1 Golden Warrior Super Saiyan. So you have all that going for you, um, and now he would have Shattering the Limit, so then it's 4 Key and a 10% attack buff. So, I mean, like, that's just that's just what it is. And, oh, man, look at that pure Saiyans. I need to do that. I can't wait to do that. Um, but, yeah, anyway, that is what's going on right now. This is phenomenal. I think that the Trunks can have his usefulness. I think if he gets a buff like this Vegeta did from 40% to 90%, who knows if he goes up to 90% or 100%, I think that that Trunks will be very good. So, I would go for it at least to do the mission rewards i will definitely be doing the mission rewards um if i can accomplish all of them i want all those potential orbs i need them i want to get my uh, super saiyan 3 broly 100 percent it so um, i will definitely be doing those potential orbs uh but outside of that i think he is a good unit you should go for him unless you have other obligations it's not something that's going to be a staple but he could be very useful in the future but anyway guys thanks for joining me here today i am off to go record another video or two to last me throughout the weekend because I didn't do it because of all the stuff I did last week or my during my technical weekend um, because I was really busy. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining me here today. I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.